Welcome to Buy Local Michigan, where we are promoting Michigan business, communities, and its people. Welcome to Buy Local Michigan. My name's Dwayne, your host, and today we're in Auburn Hills at Callahan's Music Hall. Callahan's is a place for real music lovers, a great venue for getting up close and personal. Johnny Winter, Jimmy Vaughn, Walter Trout, Coco Montoya, and our guest in the episode today, Davey Knowles, all have shared the stage here. Let's head on inside. We're inside Callahan's Music Hall right now with a performer that Peter Frampton has said is the guitar slinger guitarist of the 21st century. How does that make you feel? Well, it's, it's a bit surreal, that, really. It's very, very nice of Peter. He's a lovely chap, very generous. <laughs> and, and by the way, this is Davey Knowles. He's from the Isle of Man. And tell us where that is. Sure, it's, it's kind of the geographical centre of the British Isles. If you imagine Ireland and England, Scotland poking up here, we're right in the middle, kind of in the north. Your early influences, you know, uh, what got you into this guitar gig, this music gig? You know, it had to start at a young age. How did it start? Well, I was 11 years old, and, and, and you know, to kind of uh, go even further back, you know, music was always playing in my house. And my dad uh, loved to play a bit of guitar, um, you know, as a hobby, but more than anything, was a huge music fan. I have an older sister who's a huge music fan. So uh, music was always playing, but it wasn't until I was about 11. Uh, my dad uh, played me Sultans of Swing by Dire Straits and it was it was Martin Offler really that, that got me into everything and just became totally obsessed and said it's been a slippery slope. <laughs> you're on an East Coast tour, you finish that up and you're heading west now to finish out some more stuff throughout the US. Uh, you're doing a lot of these smaller clubs like Callahan's Music Hall here. Uh, what does that do for you as a performer? Oh, wow. Well, I mean, um, I think also not to get kind of a, a um, inflated uh, opinion of our place in the music industry. We, we are a, still a club band and, and I still love that. I've been lucky enough to play some big shows with some great, great players and some kind of heroes of mine. I feel very fortunate, but um, I always feel like I'm a bit more comfortable in a, you know, in a smaller environment and you can see your audience and you can interact with your audience. And, and I think that's makes for a better experience for everyone. One thing that I've that I've noticed about you is you got a social media presence. You've got you've got a presence about you that is that is very calming and you you're, you're like wanting to to reach out to your audience. Let's talk social media for a minute. Uh, you're of that age that it's this I mean you you grew up in it. Uh, do you have like a social media plan? I mean, are you trying to brand yourself or is it just something that, oh, I wake up today and I'm going to do it? You know, I, I think as soon as it starts getting a little impersonal, like the branding thing, and, and we've, we've tried that kind of whole approach of, well, we need to be doing this and that, and, and, and I feel like it never really works that way. Uh, social media for me is just like having a conversation with people you can't be in the room with. And uh, I think as soon as you start uh, speaking to people like people rather than customers yes. I, I think I think maybe that's um, a, a little more fun for everyone involved including myself um, I like people I like being social and I like that um, you know aspect in real life and on the internet you know it's really good fun if someone has a question oh man I'd love to have a conversation you know um, I think that's that's my approach it's not calculated <laughs> been to Michigan a few times and, and being from by local Michigan you know and we're down here at Callahan's Music Hall do you get much of a chance to kind of explore the surroundings other than the vinyl shops uh, and well you know uh, kind of an occupational hazard of a touring musician is you're in a place for like a few hours and normally you see the hotel the drive to the venue and the drive back to the hotel you know that that's kind of just how it is you know we're fortunate in that you know uh, events like this where you're doing two nights in a particular spot you can, you know, go out and see stuff. And one of my, like you said, uh, one of my big hobbies is going out and finding a record shop and just raiding the bins. You know, that's that's my huge passion in life. You've been here before. This is this is your what second or third time? Or and we don't have we don't have to put numbers on it. Sure. But uh, what is it that you find about this audience that it might be different? Or are they all basically the same? Well, you know, I, I think. Uh, 
First off, Callahan's Music Hall is a cracking venue. They know how to put on a show, they know how to promote a show, and they have a, a trusted name, which is difficult to find in venues nowadays. Um, you know, they know that people can come to Callahan's. A couple said to me yesterday, we had a free night, we didn't know what to do. We said, well, Callahan's always puts on some good stuff, we'll go there. That's huge for us, man. I mean, it's great to have repeat people, you know, coming in and, and, and enjoying themselves again. What's really great is to find new folks uh, and turn them onto it. You've got some releases coming out. Tell me what's what's going on on the on the business side of Davy Knowles. Well, you know we are totally independent. Um, we uh, publish our own stuff. We release our own stuff. And that means a little extra work for us, but you know um, I find it really important to to keep a handle on what you're doing and and um, and be be your own boss. And kind of along with that. On your shows this time around, you're doing the bootlegs, the official bootlegs, sure, yeah. and 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 you've got one out there right now from January. And I take it you're you're kind of going back in the old Grateful Dead era, yeah, exactly. you know, back in the day where they just record the shows. It's raw, it's it's live, Absolutely. and you know, as a musician, that's something that I love is the raw. I like it when it's live, you know. And tell us about the bootlegs and what you plan on doing with it from here. Well, I mean, I, I'm kind of very familiar with the with the jam world. I, I was guitar player for Mickey Hart and Bill Kreutzmann of the Grateful Dead for a little while in in their band, the Rhythm Devils. And I've always loved that aspect of recording everything. And what what we kind of thought we are independent, you know. And and the music industry is only getting tougher, I think. Um, and yeah, you know, you need to make a living. And and the idea with this is working with the venues, working with um, you know the, the any covers we might do, what have you, um, just uh, kind of ramming home the fact that we are a live band and this is what we do. It, r the records I love doing, I love doing, but I think our element is uh, live. Um, and why not just record that, make a compilation every single month and make it available on our website. I mean, it, technology makes it easy for, for you to do, we're on good terms with everyone, you know. Let's just make it happen. And that's DavyKnowles.com, correct? Yes, sir, thank you for the plug. Yeah, <laughs> you don't miss a trick. <laughs> and the nice thing about it is you're also on Facebook. Is there anything like you'd like to leave our audience with? Anything that you'd, you know, I mean, we're just kind of chatting here, but you know, is there something that you want to put out there? Oh, you know, um, just if if you're kind of a, a big guitar geek like me, or you know, a big blues geek, record collector, what have you, just look us up and have a have a look. If you don't like it, that's great. If you do. Super, come and see us at a show, come say hi, and um, you know, it's uh, we're doing this because we love it. Um, because uh, frankly, I'm terrible at anything else, so I've got no choice, and I'm um, uh, just very fortunate and very grateful. So, Wow, what a show. Callahan's Music Hall is a great place to see live music. Check them out on their website. We'd also like to thank Davey Knowles for taking time and talking with us today. On behalf of Buy Local Michigan, we are here to tell Michigan businesses' story. Contact us and we'll come out to your business and spotlight what you do. Thank you for watching. Follow us on social media and remember to buy and shop locally in Michigan. Thank you. We're backstage here. We just got done listening to Davey, and I found out that Michael is from Kalamazoo, Michigan. Michael, tell me a little bit about yourself and growing up in Michigan, and how did you get with Davey and get on the road? Yeah, sure. Well, I, I grew up in southwestern Michigan, um, southwest of Kalamazoo. Everybody's heard of Kalamazoo. On a organic farm called Peacewood. Uh, hooked up with Davey Knowles at a gig on which we were both sidemen. But uh, it suffice it to say, a few months later, out of the blue, he called me and he called the bass player and said, look, actually, I do my own routine and why don't you join me for a couple dates? And uh, well, anyway, needless to say, it was uh, a great time and I've just continued with him when I can. Uh -huh.